morning everybody and uh, welcome back today I've got a design team project for my porch porch prints to share with you this is her sewing journal kit and uh, it's just gorgeous very very vintage um, I was so thrilled to be able to work with this kit because I love the images in it um, so we're just gonna jump in <coughs> Excuse me, but my voice is, I don't know, the last couple of days it's kind of been giving me problems, so I'm hoping I get through this okay. So let's get started with the cover. Um, the closure is sorry silk, but it's not been attached. I've left that loose because if the, the journal grows anymore, you could, um, it will, you know, could you could expand it with an, another piece. It's a two signature. Um, I've counted, this is a, a, 152 pages in two signatures so it's a very big journal and sorry let me grab my ruler here <laughs> it's about a six by nine so that's a large journal for me as you know and it's gator mouth pretty good now at uh, five inches on that that side it's a soft co cover and it's just got such an amazing feel to it. Um, how I've done this is using an envelope as the base, but then I've come over it with this um, this kind of a linen, heavy linen fabric that I picked up at um, the Craft Expo a while back, and I love it. I love the it's you know the beige with the black and I just thought it just went beautifully with this kit so <clears throat> lots of sewing and then I just took and just made it I added all these old bits of um, trim that I had gotten off of a tablecloth and I love the the way that's come out and then you've got the image here so I've named this journal <clears throat> patent pending I don't know why it just came to me um, so that's what she's called and inside <clears throat> oh, aren't these just beautiful beautiful pages uh, Stephanie does amazing kits okay so on the front cover here we've got a fabric well it's fabric then lace and then one of the images I've stitched um, did a little fabric ruffle with some old buttons there and then this is just a little journal card that I created and I've got some embossing and then it's sandwiched with a bit of the Tim Holtz um, paper. I just like the, that hanging over. And then I made a journal card here and it says this book belongs to. And then another little journal card there and then that's the back. That's all been stitched in. I really enjoyed this uh, working with this, and it's been t it's taken me so long to complete this journal, and I don't know well, I because in between I'm doing other stuff, but um, but yeah, it's taken me a long time um, to finish this. So lots of uh, I've tried to include a lot of fabric and buttons because it's a sewing journal. Um, I've done stamping. This is another <clears throat> separate kit. In Stephanie's shop and it's the shabby rose I'm not too sure but I'll put a link to it I think it's a file mini file folder book or something like that but I'll put um, a link to every kit that I've used from my porch print in in here sorry <laughs> I'm just struggling today I don't know what's wrong with me this is a um, book page and I, um, it's from an old uh, book, and I believe it was dated about uh, 1906 or something. And so I've included a couple pages in it because it's just really interesting reading. This was the side. Investments for women. It's just, I love this kind of thing. You read about it and... Um, how different, how different the times were. Here I've just made, <clears throat> I've taken an old and um, sewing pattern instruction 
booklet and I've just stitched around it and made it into another little tag there. Another um, fabric ruffle. Love this page, how this came out. This is a book page, um, kind of like an envelope style pocket. And inside I've just tucked in various things from my stash. There's an old uh, mother of pearl button on a um, bulb pin there with the various bits of um, fabric and a little bit of uh, lace that I had left over. And then here some more journaling cards that I've backed with some uh, coffee and tea dyed papers. And I have left the strings in this. Um, they could easily be snipped off, but I thought it looked really nice with this particular theme. And so here I've got this tiny little tag. I've done some stamping. This, um, I've been waiting forever. I picked up the little Tim Holtz um, sewing stamps and it's I've had those now for a year and a half, well, almost two years, and it's the first time I've had the chance to use them, so that was really fun to finally be able to get them out and use them. And then I've created a little journal card from one of the images from her kit, and just bits and pieces from my stash, still trying to dwindle that down, some stamping here, and then I made this little mini file folder, and it's got vintage style stamped there. And another old vintage book page here, and it's a um, it's on better homemaking, and so it's it goes into cooking and you know things for keeping your house clean. Ah, probably about the 50s. This book page, but I love anything like that. I always find myself. That's probably why this took so long. In all honesty, because as I was you know choosing my pages. I start reading, and the next thing you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's, there's another hour gone because I just get um, sidetracked with reading these books. I just love it. Another journal card I've made. Got some metal eyelet there. And then this page, I've just I've backed it with some of the baking paper I had and made a little tuck spot there. So, a uh, snippet roll with various bits and pieces, some stitching on it, another uh, beautiful button. This is more of a gray um, mother of pearl button. I don't know if it's going to show up in the camera, but I love those. And I lucked up on a whole tin of those. Um, here we've got another, this is an Edith Holden um, book page pocket, and I've just um, added some Irish linen thread to hold that closed when you, so you can add some items there. Here I just took leftover um, parchment paper and um, digital download I had and I've just made a ruffle and then this page is about dressmaking so that went beautifully with it. This is a French book page. No idea if it's sewing related or not <laughs> and because I don't speak French. <laughs> Um, so that, I just thought it was nice because it's vintage. And Here I've got some more journal cards from my stash. And that's Edith Holden page in there. And then a little pocket, a couple little pockets and a tiny, I love the tiny little tags. This is an old uh, rose uh, book I picked up gosh, probably three years ago, and the papers are just, the images are gorgeous. I got a few of those left. I'm slowly getting through those. I hate to, I hate to use all those, though. Um, little pin here with a couple of glass beads and another snippet tab. And then here I took the um, oh, coffee uh, filters. Um, I think I'd showed that. A while back that I'd picked these up. Well, I just cut it in half and did some sewing and that's created a two pockets there on that page. And this is another sewing book page that I've got. I love that. Probably 50s, that book again. This is um, 
one of the background sheets that uh, Stephanie includes with the kit. This is the center of the signature, and in this one I've added, I added one uh, vintage button, and then this is a new one, but I just thought the contrast was nice, and that is a mother pearl button again. Isn't that page beautiful? Such a beautiful, beautiful sewing kit. Here I found this. I had brought this over and I totally lost it. And in a cleanup, I uh, I managed to find some of that trim. You guys know, you know about that trim. But I'm going to have to get some more of that because I'm almost out of it. I love that. So again, um, just things from my uh, scrap pile. And then this I've done some stamping and embossing on there. Um, and then stamp to that. Superior quality buttons. I love those stamps. That's paper tray ink. I know somebody's going to ask me about it. Every time I show something with those I get so many questions. <laughs> Here um, a belly band I've made with fabric, um, parchment paper, and then scraps of paper. And I, I, I know a lot of people like the sound of these crinkly papers. And then these are are um, some journal cards I've had made for a while and I've just pieced together you know scraps of fabric that I had and then I backed it with tea dyed and I thought that this was the perfect journal to use that I think I've got two of these in here um, again those are those stamps I've been hoarding <laughs> and so I made just this long journal page out of um, that's some of the Rubius tied uh, tea dyed paper and I love the colors that when those come out dark like that, they're a really rich color. Another little journal card tucked in here, more collaging. I uh, found a couple of these left, I'm almost out of those, so I love these um, doilies. It's very difficult to get those over here, the square ones. If any, anybody in the UK could advise me where I could find these, I'd really appreciate it because I'm almost out. That's um, that other side of the Rose uh, book page. Um, some more stamping. Just an old button here with a bit of lace and some more fabric. Tried to put a lot of fabric in this one. This is another journal card from the kit. And then this opens up, and another little journal card. So a lot of writing space. You can still, um, you've got room if you wanted to add more, but it's pretty full. I think I've probably put more pockets. Um, that's a beautiful image. Probably <coughs> more pockets in this than I normally would, but... Because there's so many pages, you can see there's still plenty of room for you to write um, within the journal. Another little tuck spot there. I haven't added anything because, as you can see, it's just gotten so big. Um, so you could take some of the things out if you wanted. This is some um, some this is some coffee dyed paper, and I love how that one came out. It's got a really nice feel to it. Here. Um, this is a, another book page pocket with a couple of tags tucked in there. So a lot of different um, techniques within this one. Um, this, let me share this with you guys because, um, and I do apologize, I've forgotten who showed me this, but this little idea um, for this is using, you can get this plastic roll, and I ordered mine off of eBay. This is for um, uh, cakes. You know, you can put it around a cake, and gosh, I don't even remember what they call it, but that is amazing stuff because it's a nice size for cutting out and making these little windows. If I can go back and find where I got that um, idea from, I'll, li I'll link it in 
the description box below, but I'm not sure if I saved it. Um, but I love that because it's smaller, it's easier to deal with than um, than the um, oh, acetate. That's what I'm trying to say, and it's thicker. I mean, thinner, so it's a, it's it's a little bit easier to deal with. And then I put that little die die cut there. I love the stamping on this and here all these pages just I'm just crazy about them and then here I just tuck this little tag in and this flips open so you can do a bit of writing there again that's another of those book pages beautiful um, this is a vintage um, post um, I think it's a postcard. Well, it's not a postcard. I don't know what, but this is true vintage. I had bought a selection of postcards and this was in it. Um, so I've tucked that in there. A bit of the fabric trim. It's the measuring tape. And then here I've got one of the time cards. I've run that through and printed on that. And then this is just a some old laces that I've backed to some of the um, shipping paper and tucked that up in there. Another of those um, fabric journal cards and that tucks in there. This is one of the days I spent just with all my <clears throat> off cuts. I just sewed them all together, made a little pocket there and then I've just added, I had an extra bit of uh, the tea dyed paper, so that's been tucked in. And just some various journal cards from my stash. Uh, this is some leftover file folder, and I've just folded it up. Old trim here, I love that piece. I just, that's a beautiful, and in, in contrast to that file folder, that was tea dyed. Here I just made a little envelope and then I did some stamping so that's been tucked in and then a little journal card tucked there and then that just hangs over. Um, so you've got a space back here as well and this is again another one of the old dressmaking book pages. So this flips over. Like I said, a lot of... Um, don't know why that clip is still in there, just noticed it. <laughs> Here, another bit of that trim. Um, French book page. And then this pocket opens up. You've got some old ledger there, and I've backed it with tea dyed paper so you can. Loads of writing space. And then old button with lots of um, old trims. Here I just took some of um, some of the digital paper from um, her sh uh, the shabby rose ledger papers from my porch prints, and I put some paper doily and just various bits and pieces, and I've sewn all that together and just uh, attached it to the edge. I like that particularly against that good paper. And then here I've made another little snippet with uh, scrap papers so you can do some little writing in that. And I, I love the way that looks against that page. Center, another mother pearl button and one of the tiny buttons. And these are also from Stephanie's um, shop. She's got these. I love those. And then the guest book. Um, this is a large tag. And I love that snippet. And I'll show you a close up of that. That's come out so pretty. It's kind of like a, a peach colored vintage button. And it's very unusual. You don't see many that color. I'm terrible when I find in my stash because I've got a lot of buttons and when I go through and I spot the ones that I really like and I tend to 
hoard and hoard, and then it reaches a point where like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to have any buttons to use in projects because I want to hoard them all. And this is another one. Look at that. It's a big mother of pearl button. And I just love that. And it's got a little chip in it, which adds to the character, I think. And then these are my little um, pockets where I sandwich them between parchment paper, the big rectangle um, doilies. I'll put a link to that. Let me write that down and I'll put a link to that tutorial because those are so easy to make, guys, honestly. And uh, I love the way they look. Oh my gosh, I've done it again. I just don't even know. There's just no hope for me, really. I've done it again. All right, we'll deal with that later. So this is another of Stephanie's um, kits and I just love this little booklet and I backed, backed it with uh, tea dyed papers and then I just added more papers so you've got this extra little booklet in there and I'm so bummed how did this happen let me see if I can get it uh, I'll come back to it so here we've got um, this is just some um, tool that um, a friend of mine gifted me. She is a seamstress, so I thought, oh, well, I'll just put that for the extra texture because I wanted to have as much, um, you know, different laces and fabrics as I could in this with it being a sewing themed. And this little card's been backed with paper, uh, tea dyed paper and stitch. So I've done a lot of sewing in this one. And as I said, I think I've put, well, I know I've put more, um, pockets than I normally would, but it is a big journal. Love that page. We all love our scissors. If we're into paper crafting, you have to love your scissors. <laughs> and another of uh, the coffee dyed paper. Here I've got another fabric ruffle. I love that black with that pink. That is just gorgeous and that's my very last piece of that fabric. Another little um, journal card and tag. And this is one of the Royal Horticulture um, postcards. So I tucked that in there. Beautiful. Nearing the end, guys. And then this is a little tag I made. And this is a glassine pocket that I've taken an old um, receipt printed and um, attach that to it. And then here I've made a big pocket so you can add some things there. Uh, this is the page I wanted to show you guys. Look at that. Practical Careers for Women by Busy Bee. Isn't that sweet? Hmm. I just I love to read these things. Um, here I've made a little that's a little um, just another little notepad. So you've got more writing there. This is just uh, the shipping paper, so it, it is very thin. But And then the very back of it, I've um, layered some of the baking paper, which is kind of a craft color. And I've made this big pocket on the back there, so you can tuck some more things. So there it is. That is patent pending. It is huge. <laughs> A huge journal. I hope you've enjoyed that. I absolutely loved working with this kit and uh, I will be revisiting this one again because I've got now I've got my stamps that coordinate with the sewing. I'll definitely be doing another one in the in in the future. Um, so there you go guys if you're interested this one's going to be for sale in my um, in my shop. I have a you know, website. Some of you still looking for me on Etsy. I, I no longer uh, work on Etsy, so I put the link below in my description box if you're interested. So that's all I've got to share today, guys. Thank you so much for dropping by and, um, and joining me. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I will be back very soon. Take care. Bye.